how do I understand, how do I look at the book of Joshua from a Middle Eastern perspective? During the time I was writing those lessons, there was lots of fighting in the Middle East. Israel uh, was attacking Lebanon, that's in 2006, when um, there was a lot of destruction. There were newspaper articles that um, picked up on the book of Joshua, and some uh, one article that stands in for me, they have said, this is their God the God who orders killing and destruction of cities and people, etc. It hurts me very much um, to, to, to think that people can think of God in this way and that they can relate um, the events of the Middle East to the stories that are found in, um, in Joshua. Um, by all means, um, where we live makes a lot of difference in our understanding of the Bible. And after all, we believe that the Bible contains the Word of God. So when we read the Bible, if we don't find that the Word of God touches our life here and now uh, in our own circumstances, then the Bible is like any other book. Therefore, I encourage every woman who will study uh, the book of Joshua to try to, by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, request to find the word of God on the pages of Joshua that, um, that gives her life, that um, touches her life because we do read the Bible and we do understand the Bible in the way that it speaks to us, it touches us, it, um, it helps us, it gives us life. So um, it has been hard for me um, to, to read and to write the studies on the book of Joshua during a political struggle and probably that was one of the motives that, have, uh, that I had to pick up on issues. And um, all my sisters who will, who will use the book of Joshua, who will use these studies, will find out that I have picked um, uh, themes that are real a struggle for us in the Middle East, like justice, like the concept of the, of the promised land. Uh, Israel um, being established 60 years ago in the land which we know to be um, Palestine for the Palestinians uh, the, uh, that caused so much refugees and for the last 60 years the political struggles continues to be um, related to what, um, what is mentioned in the Bible, the promised land. This is not a, an easy um, topic to tackle. Uh, for us, it is a source of great pain and sometimes disappointment with God. Uh, this may not be the same for women in the USA or anywhere else because it is not part of their experience. But for us, uh, for example, the promised land um, caused us suffering and fear and um, caused wars for the last 60 years. So it is very important that we understand the Bible. We find in the Bible the word of God for us here and now that builds us, that encourages us, that shows us that God will never accept um, injustice will never accept violence against the human rights, no matter who suffers or who causes um, the suffering. So um, it, is, uh, it, it is very important that people using these lessons um, remember where I come from and why I had to choose uh, those themes because they have meaning for me. 
I live struggling with those issues as thousands and millions of the people in the Middle East um, struggle with. Some um, find themselves cannot but reject the whole thing in the, in the Old Testament. But for us Christians, for us theologians, for us biblical students, this cannot be uh, the case at all. We believe that the Bible contains a living, the living word of God for our life. And um, the word of God that gives us life is Jesus Christ, of course. <laughs>